Shalom, Akiyam, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakadash, Barakatha, Barakatham, Shalom, Akiyam. Um, I just wanted to end my uh, lesson off. You know, I got caught up. Uh, you know, Satan always trying to uh, derail brothers from uh, doing the work of the Lord. But you know, the Lord always shows mercy unto His man, unto uh, unto those who, who who seek after Him. All right. But I want to I wanted to continue on the lesson, man. And the lesson is about a, a brother I knew in the world, a friend of mine, a close friend of mine. And just to uh, you know, uh, re uh, you know, bring back the title of the story of, uh, of this lesson. Um, well, actually, I don't even know what I'm titling it, but I just wanted to bring up my last few precepts. But it's about the brother who decided that he wanted to go into the army, you know, and uh, put away and he, he and he put the words. He cast the words of the most high behind him. OK, he cast it to the side, you know, and he didn't take heed to the word of the most high. OK, and he forgot about the most high. OK, even though when he heard the word, he believed. But he forgot about the Most High in his day in his day to day, okay. And now the Most High put it in his mind to join the army, okay. And he joined the army before uh, the Syria, if I'm not mistaken, and now the Iran situation, okay. And I was and I was telling the brother that if he joined the army and they ship him out, he's not going to come back, okay. And this brother has, you know, he ha he has young children now. And, and I'm pretty sure now he's considering what he has done and he's considering what he has heard. OK, because he's heard the word of the Lord. He's heard that uh, war is getting get ready, getting ready to happen in the Middle East. OK, so and, and but he he put his trust in Egypt. OK, and he put his trust in, in the things that Esau said. OK, but he's been deceived. OK, and let me go back to Matthew. Oh, man, Matthew 13. All right. Let me go back to Matthew 13 real quick. Matthew 13 verse uh, 22. And it says, he also that receiveth seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceivableness of riches choke the word and he become unfruitful. OK, going back to that precept, the deceivableness of riches choke the word. And, 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 and that's what, uh, the brother did, you know, he fell for the deceivableness of the, of riches, man. Okay. He, he, he fell, he, he fell to Esau's lies, man. Okay. And that's because he neglected the word of the most high. Okay. Those, the word, the Lord said, never trust thine enemies, man. For as iron rusted, so is his wickedness, man. Okay. But he didn't take heed. Okay. Cause he's out in the world thinking that he doesn't have any enemies. Okay. He doesn't know that the so-called white man is the Edomites, the Edomites, according to the Bible. He doesn't know that they're the wicked, according to the Bible. He doesn't know that the Most High hates Esau. OK, he's heard of these things, but he he didn't keep it with him. OK, he didn't acknowledge the Lord. It's OK. And what does Job say? Job. Uh, let me see. Job 12, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's see if I can find it real quick. Job 12 and 10. Yeah. Uh, 12, Job 12 and 16. It says with him is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his. OK, so, yeah, he was deceived. OK, and he got caught up with the deceivableness of riches, man. And it choked the word in him. OK, and he listened to Esau. OK, he listened to the so-called he listened to the devil. OK, the so-called white man is the devil. OK, and the devil means deceiver. OK, devil doesn't mean some guy with a pitchfork with, with horns, you know, not literal. That's not a literal thing. OK, it just it, uh, the devil is uh, in, in, in Latin. It comes from the, uh, the Latin word Diablo, which means deceiver. OK, so he was deceived. OK, because he didn't take heed to the word of the Lord. OK, and, and when he was when, and during this time period, when he decided to make that decision and joining the army and he already knew the truth. He heard he heard of the truth. OK. And he believed it. OK. But he didn't take heed to the word and he cast it behind him and he was choked. He the word was choked by the cares of the world and the deceivableness of riches. OK. But let me go to Matthew uh, 24 because a lot of and, and, and it's just not him. I'm pretty sure that there's other brothers out there, other young men, you know, in Israel that uh, 
two thirds of our people that have heard the word and, and that and, and, and went on and applied for the military. OK, and they're falling under the same net. They're falling in that same trap. OK, and I just don't want to make it seem as if it's just this one brother. OK, because it, it's just a small example of many brothers, two thirds of our brothers that are in the world that that's making a decision. OK, and not taking heed to the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, not taking heed to the word of the Most High. OK, and they can't say that they haven't heard this precept in particular as well. OK, but let me go to Matthew, uh, Matthew 24, verse six, Matthew 24, verse six says, and and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. OK, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And these things have been happening more now than ever before in history. OK, and, and they're not being reported, but they, but it's but a lot of these a lot of this news is still going out. OK, via social media. OK, via Facebook, via YouTube. OK. Even your timelines on your cell phones. OK, you're still getting this information. You're just not hearing this information out in mainstream media. OK, so a lot of our people, the two thirds of our people who decide on joining Esau's army, they have no excuse, man. OK, they have no cloak for their sins because they've heard the word. OK, they've heard the word of prophecy, but they decide that they still want to make these decisions. OK, but that's just the most high putting in their minds to do these things. OK, because they have a judgment. That's getting ready to be that they're getting ready to be judged upon. OK, then they, they chose not to repent, man. They chose not to keep the way of the most high and they're going to receive their judgment. And like I said earlier, 75 uh, percent uh, of Esau's army, Esau's military is full of Jake and maybe even more. All right. But, you know, our, our people, they put their trust in Esau. They put their trust in his ways. OK. And they've been deceived. But just like, you know, like, like I brought out the scripture earlier, the deceived and the deceiver are his. So it's the most high that deceived them. OK, because the most high knew that they didn't believe. Even Yahweh Shah said he knew from the very beginning, man, who was going to betray him. He knew from the very beginning those who didn't believe. He knew. OK, because Yahweh Shah it, it, it was blessed with that understanding man, and blessed with that knowledge, man, and knowing these things. OK, and he knew who was going to follow him and who wasn't going to follow him. OK, but it's still our job to 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 uh, uh, go out on the highways and byways. OK, uh, to cry aloud and spare not and show the most high people his trans their transgressions, man. OK, so it's our job that everybody has to hear this word. Even the other nations have to hear it. OK, so there's no excuse. OK, they've heard it. All right. But uh, come on, I wanted to bring that out. And also I wanted to go to to wrap up the, uh, the lesson. I wanted to go to second Esdras, man. You know, and, and and this is what's getting ready to happen, man. For all these men that are going out to war, okay, they they weren't paying attention to prophecy because the, they can't say that they for man the prophets have been out on the highways and byways for so long. They have no excuse, man. They can't say that they didn't hear the word, okay. The most high put it in the spirit of, 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 of the of the uh, apostles of great millstone the elders and apostles of great millstone man to be out on the highways and byways for years man even prior before the the, the boom on the internet okay they've been out on the highways and byways man so they don't have no excuse okay and this is getting ready to befall and this is what's getting ready to befall uh two-thirds of our men that will be shipped out even daughters as well but in particular the men OK, that are going to be shipped out into the land of uh, 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 Yahweh Shapat. I really don't like I, I, uh, Jehoshaphat. It don't roll off the tongue as 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 well as Yahweh Shapat. OK, the most High's judgment. I love saying Yahweh Shapat, even even in the, when I'm speaking to brothers in the world, you know, sometimes it's very hard to say uh, the land of Jehoshaphat. You know, I rather say Yahweh Shapat, you know, because Hebrew is, our, is is a pure language. It's a pure tongue. All right. Let me. Uh, OK. Second Ezra 16. All right. Second Ezra 16. Uh, verse 34. All right. I'll start at 33. 
All right. And it says the virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. OK, the women, the women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. OK, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. OK, so when I told that brother, OK, if he gets shipped out overseas that he's not coming back home, it's thus say the scriptures. OK, thus saith the Lord. OK, not me speaking out of my, out of my own mind. OK, the Lord said it. The scriptures say it. They're not coming back home. OK, because they're going to be when they get there, their, their exit is going to be a nuclear missile. OK, and that's going to be their judgment, man. If they're not destroyed uh, 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 in battle, OK, they will be destroyed from nuclear missiles. OK, and this is a prophecy of the Lord. This is the prophecy of Yahweh Bashmi al Shah. Okay? And it was my job at that moment to tell that brother that. Okay? But he didn't, I, I'm not sure if he took heed or not. But I'm pretty sure ever since the whole Iran situation, he's considering it. Okay? And he's and once you sign that on that paper, either you go to jail or, or, or either you ship out or you go to jail. Okay? And the draft is coming. So a lot of our young men will have no choice but to go out there, either go get shipped out or go to pr go to prison and be considered uh, 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 and, be, and, and, and be considered to, and be charged with treason. OK, going against the government. OK, those are the charges that you're going to be faced with. OK, Esau is going to try to scare you with those things. But the two thirds, they're not thinking that this kingdom is going down at that point. OK, they thinking that they're going to be in prison forever. So a lot of them just might be shipped out. OK. A lot of them just might be shipped out, okay? But for the rest of us who have faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, hey man, we're going to take that. We're going to ride with that because we're going to be comforted, okay? We're going to be comforted in knowing in the times that we're living in, okay? Because those of us who have faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, we, we, we're, 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 we're uh, uh, constantly observing the times. We're measuring the times, the measuring the time diligently in itself, okay? And how do we measure the time? We measure the time with the prophecies, Okay? The prophecies tell us where in time we are, okay? And Yahweh Shah even said it, man. There shall be wars and rumors of wars, and nations shall rise against nation, okay? And pestilence. These things are happening now. So you'd be a fool to join Esau in, 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 in his army, okay, at this time, okay? You'd be wise to separate yourself from Esau's society, to separate yourself from his world, okay? We have to use the world. You know, we have to go out and work and stuff like that, but don't abuse it. OK, we only use it because we need it to we need it to, uh, uh, to to eat. We need it. You know, we have to pay these bum ass bills. You know, we have to do those things in order to survive. OK, but the look, but spiritually, we we've separated ourselves. We came up out of this place, man, spiritually. OK, but the two thirds, don't, they're not going to be able to have that discernment, man. They're not going to know what time they're in. OK, and they don't know who their enemies are. They don't even know why they're here. They don't even know who they are. They don't believe it. They've heard it, but they don't believe it. All right. But yeah, man, I wanted to bring out those precepts, man. You know, I didn't have a chance to bring them out earlier. You know, like I said, brothers, you know, I ran into some complications. But man, I, I really hope your brothers were edified in this video, man. And 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 I know I know this situation that you know that uh, I've experienced. You know, witnessing my friend go through the process of joining the military, even after I told him, even even after he's hurt, even after he when he's heard the word. OK, still decide to do those things because the cares of the world, because he wanted to, you know, impress his wife and their family. OK, he doesn't want that, that he doesn't want to be shamed. You know, he doesn't want to work, work a regular job because in his mind, this kingdom, he doesn't truly believe in the word of the most high. OK, he, 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 he thinks this place is going to last forever. This is why he wants to uh, accumulate a large bank. A big bank. This is why he wants to purchase a home, but he's not paying attention to the prophecies. OK, this Babylon, America, also known as Babylon in the scriptures, is getting ready to be burnt with fire. OK, and everybody knows this place is Babylon. OK, everybody knows this place is Babylon. OK, Babylon is a mainstream mainstream word now. OK, everybody knows this place is Babylon. Everybody knows in their spirit that this place is Babylon. OK, because everything goes down here, man. All kind of wickedness and evil goes down here. OK, but, you know, the water Yahabashim Ashah for, you know, bringing us here so we can see all the wickedness and evil. 
You know, the Wadi Habashim Asha for, for putting us through the things that he's brought us through, man. Okay, so we can see what the world looks like when the wicked is in rulership. Okay, so we can see these things, man. So we can testify, Lord willing, that we're part of the, the one third and 144,000 in the kingdom, man. And we can tell what happened on this side. Okay, so we can testify and, and tell about our, our experiences, man. And, and, and testify and see the things and tell, tell the things that we've seen. Okay, but I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I like to give salutations to the Akim preaching the gospel across the four corners of the earth in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, Akim. Shalom.